Okay, what we got here is a little uh, water line project going in. The house behind me is about 175 feet away. Uh, we're going to use, uh, we're going to replace one inch PVC with a uh, one inch PEX line. It's a uh, uh, big continuous, no joints, just at the frost free hydrants and the T to go to the house. And right here at the water meter, I'm going to put a pressure reducing valve that's automatically preset at 45 PSI. You know, before I had my uh, reducing valve inside the house, and so it was full pressure on these water lines, it's about 175 pounds per square inch of pressure. What um, Greg's found right here is that uh, this is where a leak is, right here at the, at the hydrant next to the house, frost free hydrant. Uh, it's already water filling up the whole. Uh, what we're going to do though is we're going to go ahead and replace everything anyway. We're going all new. Yeah, we're going all new from the from the road to the to this hydrant to the house, and from here we're going to go up to the barn with a new new hydrant. So the ditch switch will be able to dig a lot of this stuff up, but uh, around these hydrants and around the water meter, that had to be done by hand. And uh, good thing Greg's good with a shovel. Yeah. Yeah, we we haven't turned the water off yet, so. Uh, uh, he's gonna be careful around this thing. It's pretty deep where the where the fittings are. It don't matter if you hit something anyway. We'll just uh, go down there and turn it off. We're not gonna try. Okay, what we got here is a fitting called a shark bite. It's just like, this is a standard coupling where a piece of pipe can go into each end and it can join them together. But instead of any threads or any glue, this fitting here just presses onto the pipe, locks in position, and it's a permanent seal. The only drawback to these fittings right here is they're expensive. This one fitting is like $13. And uh, the T's here, they're even more expensive. Here's the way I laid everything out. This is my pressure reducing valve. Uh, we're not exactly sure how we're going to attach to the meter, so we got a few options right here. All right, and coming from the valve, we got the shark bite for the PEX line. Okay, from that, we're going to go to this first T. This T is going to supply the hydrant. We got uh, it's one inch on each side, and then it's three quarter here. It's going to the three quarter PEX fitting with the threads. Okay, now this threads is going to attach to the the coupling here that's going to the fitting here that's going to go to the, the hydrant itself. Okay, now from this T, we're going to go to another T that's going to have a one inch outlet that's going to feed about 100 feet to this other connection that's going to supply the water to the barn. We didn't have this before, but we, we thought it'd be a worthwhile investment just to do that. All right, and from the other end of the T to this shark bite fitting is a little bit about three feet. And this fitting here will connect to the one inch PVC on the house. And we got to uh, ask for the best quality thread sealant we could get, so that's what they gave us. And a simple tubing, PVC tubing cutter for that. Got a couple pair of vice grips to tighten the fittings up. We know they'll fit. And this tubing is a uh, one inch PEX. And it's supposed to be some real tough stuff. So uh, what I can do while I'm waiting on the ditch, uh, ditch witch digger thing to get here is I can go in and assemble a lot of this plumbing stuff. I'm gonna go and put these in the hydrants with thread sitting on them, tighten them up real good. I connect the shark bite into the female end. All right, what he's doing, he's putting a pretty dang good, big, good bit of torque on there. Two pair of vice grips. And uh, he's got that one inch uh, male threads going into the shark bite and, uh, with a pipe joint compound. I believe he's got a pretty good little seal there. We went ahead and did all our everything that we could uh, connect. We went ahead and connected it. So now when we get our line dug and our machine here, we'll be able to just assemble everything right beside of the ditch on the ground.
got the little inspector here. She's going to check everything out. And Chloe, everything looks good so far. That didn't take about 20 minutes, so it ain't no big deal. If we didn't knew that, it was going to dig that quick. We would have only got the machine for a half a day.